Handsome, aren't I? Are you alright? Are you Albert? Yeah, are you Aiden? <laughs> you remember my name. I mean, you're the kid who invited me here to interview me, right? Y yeah Look, can we hurry this along? I've got a date in not too long. Uh, yeah, uh, so what about uh, extracurricular activities? Anything like that? Oh, well I'm in Alpha Sigma Nu, I do uh, the Mermaid Tavern, there's the uh, Cinema Club. Really? Like, like what's your favorite movie? On the Waterfront. Marlon Brando, classic. I could have had class, could have been a contender. Nah, come on, it's more like, uh, like I could have been a contender. That sounds more like the Godfather. Who's Godfather? <laughs> Never mind. Uh, what about the, uh, what's the Mermaid Club? Oh, it's, uh, it's a writing club on campus. I didn't know you were a writer, that's what, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> My pop would kill me if I tried to become a professional writer. I mean, I'm just here to get a business degree, you know? Look, any other questions? My date's in a few minutes. What's your favorite college memory? Last Halloween, okay? We were doing a beer mile in the local cemetery. Uh, what? The rules of the game, you have to keep running, keep drinking. If you vomit, you lose a piece of clothing. And now let me tell you something. I'm, I got a weak stomach. So, uh, let's just say I was pretty naked pretty fast. Now, I come around to the front of the cemetery. What do I find? My friends, every single one of them, gone. Took my clothes with them. So I'm naked in this cemetery. It is Halloween night. I gotta go down Dana Avenue with nothing but a newspaper to hide my inappropriate area. I get back to Brockman. All I want is just to get back to my room, to put on clothes. I get to what I think is my door and I'm pounding on it. I'm like, open up. Who opens it up but a random blonde girl I've never met. I'm on the wrong floor. And before she has a chance to realize that there's a naked guy at her door, she opens the door all the way. Who's inside? The entire women's <laughs> okay, I'll admit, that, that's pretty good right there. Don't worry, don't worry. We made up the next morning, I went over, I apologized, and uh, long story short, now I'm dating MG. That's how you met Mary Grace? You know her. Um, in a way. Uh, uh, let's just move on. Final question. Where do you see yourself in a few decades? I, I don't think about that kind of stuff. Well, what about if you had like a, a son or a, a grandson? What would you want to say to them? I would just say that if you're ever having a bad day, if life ever gets you down, then you can always find a smile if you have a few good memories. Who told you that? You did. <laughs> My memory's going. Well, I should jet. I haven't even started getting my hair ready yet. Well, um, tell Mary Grace I said, hey. I'm not seeing Mary Grace tonight. I'm seeing Rachel. Well, I, I thought you just said you were dating Mary Grace. Yeah, this is college. Who just dates one woman? Whoa, how many women are you dating? You sound like my grandfather. Well, it's been a pleasure, Aiden. Good luck with your writing.